Hi YouTube, welcome to Shimmer Girl Talks. Today I'm gonna to do a video, it's a follow up on my previous video called Are Black Women Raising Their um, Daughters to Be Single? So on the flip side of that would be Are Black Women Then Raising Their Sons to Be Dependent? And I'm gonna to have to go with yes. Now before I go into detail, uh, I didn't get a chance to expound in a previous video. Uh, I was raised to be a single woman I don't think that it was intentional, um, but from what I, but if you ever really take the time to look out in our communities and you might read things online, you might hear people saying, you know, certain things, we as black women, we are raised to do it all. We are raised to be superwoman, superhuman, devoid of emotions, you know, got to get it done right or not at all. And, you know, you hear a lot of these women, I have the college education, I have, I bought my house, I have a new car, I have money in the bank, and these men out here, what do they have? Nothing. You know, they're living in their mama's basement, you know, they have a slew of girlfriends or a slew of baby mamas, and they're not taking care of those children. So, but there is a reason why all of this is happening. And um, so I would like to talk about, there's this term out there, and I can't stand this term. And as a matter of fact, I don't even speak like this. So you're going to have to forgive me, but this is actually what it says online. Now, if you are an old person like me, and as I've mentioned, I am 40 plus. So a lot of these um, youngins out here have come up with this term called fuckboy. Now, back in the day, we used to call them bums or, you know, just men that you just would not give the time of day to. Um, but today there's a term called fuckboy. And on Urban Dictionary, it is a person who is a weak ass pussy that ain't about shit. That's what it says. And when I look at um, a lot of what's going on out there, and I've, I just mentioned it, you see so many women who have stepped up to the plate. And a lot of them have stepped up to the plate because they had no other choice, meaning uh, maybe they became a young mother and they had, and of course, they're the ones that's going to be saddled with the child. So they have to step up to the plate. And a lot of them, they go on to complete college. You know, they get their job and X amount of money coming into the household. And they have a boyfriend. A lot of times it's a boyfriend, let's be honest. And a lot of times it's a man that's not even the father of her child or children. And he's loafing around in her house. And he's not really adding financially to that household. He is not stepping up to the plate of responsibility by asking that woman to marry him and build a life with her. Now, some people might say, well, why is the woman getting the blame for this? Why are mothers getting the blame for this? And again, there is a root cause for this. I really don't think that we as black women are being raised to be wives. And black males raised in the same household are not being raised to select a woman to make her his wife and build a life. And I'm gonna go off on a tangent and it might make some people mad, but it kind of ties into what I'm saying. A lot of women I have found they look at their sons as their surrogate man. If they don't have a husband, never had a husband, or might have a husband, but he's not the father of that son or whatever, a lot of times, a lot of these black males are taking on a lot of emotional responsibility that actually should be placed on a husband or his father, not him. So it almost stands to reason why a lot of these women are not raising their sons to be independent and raising them to look towards the future with a wife and having children with her. And so a lot of women might say, well, you know, you can't teach a boy how to be a man. No, you can't teach a boy how to, the nuances of what makes a man a man or what makes a man tick. We're not men. But you can raise your son to be responsible. Teach him not to, if he's going to mess with a woman that he does not see a future with, i.e. a wife, then you need to start talking to him when he's five years old, maybe even younger. 
I mean, maybe not about the sex part, but when he gets older, you put on a condom. And I don't even support premarital sex, but the reality of it is out here, people are having sex irresponsibly. So if you're going to do it, at least be responsible about it and don't bring children to an unstable environment. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm not trying to take people's fun away. I'm just saying be responsible. So this is what a single mother can teach her son about responsibility. Let him know one day you're going to grow up and be a big, strong man, and you're going to get married, and you're going to bring forth children. Don't bring no children into this world with a girlfriend or a woman that you don't see a future with. Don't do it. Encourage him to get his education so he can be a viable member of society and be that good husband for a woman one day. Women, we have to do our part for this. You know, we have to stop having excuses and stop letting the streets raise these boys out here. So, uh, and I'm sure I'm gonna be back. I'm, um, this video, again, I was supposed to do it a few days ago and I did not write down my thoughts. I wish I had written them down because I, I had a lot of good points that I wanted to share. So bottom line, yes, a lot of black women, not all, but a lot of black women are raising dependent sons. And they are, a lot of them are what we would call, these young people are calling these fuck boys out here. You know, men that don't want to step up to the plate. You know, they just want to use a woman sexually and then move on to the next woman. And, you know, some people might say that that's a man thing. But men, young men can be trained. Not all men are like this. Not all of them are just out here spreading their seeds all over. So both sexes have to be responsible and they have to be taught that young. And one point that I would like to make before I, I close this um, video is I notice a lot of people want to wait until their child is 13, 14, and 15 and then start teaching them about um, responsibility sexual responsibility and stuff like that. But by then, their, their mind has already been formed. So anyway, I'm going to share um, in the comments below to um, my previous video, Are Black Women Raising Their Daughters to Be Single? So um, see you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.